In this demo, I'm going to show you how to create a basic backup maintenance plan. While maintenance plans may not offer the best solution for your environment, particularly if you manage many servers, it does offer a quick and easy way to get started with a backup solution. I'm going to create a plan that contains steps to do uh, full differential and transaction log backups. Um, and while I won't go through scheduling the three different parts of it, um, I'll leave that up to you. But we'll just create the plan and you can do this in your environment and schedule the steps later on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the management node in the Object Explorer. I'm going to right click on maintenance plans and click new maintenance plan. I'll call this database backups. And we're presented with a design service here where we can drag and drop our backup database task. What I'm going to do first though is create three different sub plans and these are going to be for our full differential and transaction log backup uh, uh, plans. So let me just edit this and get these set up. So click add sub plan to create another one. And I don't like that they automatically populate the description. Okay, so now I've got three sub plans and I'm gonna switch back to the full and I'm gonna drag and drop a backup database task onto the design surface. I'm going to right click, click edit, and now we're going to go through and configure the task. This one is going to run on the local server. Our backup type is full. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the drop down arrow there and say I want to back up all the databases. It just so happens that this instance is completely empty right now. I'm going to check the ignore databases where the state is not online, which will skip databases where it's not possible to back them up. And if this was unchecked and you had databases that were offline, for example, when you ran the maintenance plan, you would get errors. So I like to check this. All right, the next thing is I'm gonna click create a subdirectory for each database. And what this is gonna do is it's going to create a folder beneath this backup folder for each database and put all the backups for that database in that folder. This is very handy, particularly if you are doing frequent transaction log backups because the number of files that you end up with after, uh, like during your retention period, which is usually, well, I shouldn't say for your environment, but probably at least two weeks times at least an hour a day adds up to a lot of files particularly if you have many databases on your instance. So I really like this option. I'm also gonna click Verify Backup Integrity. Uh, this will do a restore header only, uh, just to do a quick check to make sure the backup is okay. This is not a full, um, full blown restore test, but it's good to enable this because it's quick and it's pretty much the best you can do just using a maintenance plan. In terms of backup compression, I'm gonna leave it uh, to use the server default setting because uh, when I configure my servers, I will set backup compression on by default on the server. So we don't really need to set this away from uh, just using the server default unless you have a specific scenario that Either you don't want it on purpose or you do want it on purpose. So that's good and we'll click OK. So the full database backups are ready to go. Now I'm going to switch and do the same thing with the differential backups. What I'm going to do is click on the differential subplan and you can see the design surface is cleared now uh, to reflect that. So we'll drag and drop another backup database task right click and click edit. 
This time we'll select a differential backup type. Same thing, we'll select all databases, ignore where it's not online, click OK. And same thing, same thing, and click OK. Very simple. Now we'll do the transaction log. I'll select transaction log here. And you'll note that it tells you that databases in simple recovery will be automatically excluded. So you don't have to worry about it causing errors. You can select all databases and it'll automatically exclude those. Great, this is actually all there is to it. All you have to do now is I'm going to save this off. I'm going to say yes. And now we have our maintenance plan here. And what it's what we have to do is actually go in and set schedules for the jobs it's created. So you can see it has created three jobs, one for each of our sub plans, but if I right click and go into properties and I go into schedules, you can see that they're unscheduled. So I'll leave that up to you to uh, create schedules for these, but that's all there is to it. And thanks for watching.